Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Um, I had a very interesting conversation yesterday uh, with somebody who asked me, uh, is it possible to reduce uh, his cravings for sweet carbohydrate foods? Um, now this is quite a difficult subject because there's a number of reasons uh, why you can get cravings for carbohydrate foods. Uh, sometimes cravings for carbohydrate foods can be perfectly natural. Uh, for example, if you perform a lot of physical activity, uh, that will have effects on your glycogen stores, it will have effects on your blood sugar. Uh, and after you've depleted your glycogen uh, within your skeletal muscle and your liver, uh, and if your blood sugar levels start to drop as a result, um, you will find that the hypothalamus signals you to consume some carbohydrates to replace those that have been used uh, as a source of fuel. So that's uh, perfectly normal and those people that perform a lot of physical activity uh, do often uh, crave carbohydrate foods. That's, uh, that's not uh, abnormal in any way um, and uh, the best thing to do if you do have a lot of physical activity is to eat carbohydrate foods that are healthy, they're high quality carbohydrate foods, replace your glycogen stores uh, and that should hopefully uh, cause your uh, craving to subside. However, if you find that uh, that for you, you're not performing activity and you still have cravings or after you've performed activity and you've eaten a lot of carbohydrate foods uh, you're still getting cravings particularly for sweet foods um, then this may be pathological there may be some other reason uh, why you're having these cravings um, if you are one of these people um, there's three things I would suggest that you try in order to be able to get on top uh, of these cravings because there's no point trying to fight them uh, I don't believe you can fight cravings if your brain uh, requires a particular substance and it's asking you to get that substance eventually you will capitulate and you will you will eat it so I would suggest that rather than trying to fight your cravings you actually try and get on top of them uh, by trying to either remove them or uh, work around them um, now the first thing that I would suggest is if you have a craving for sweet foods uh, that you try and eat sweet foods that are of high quality. Uh, certain fruits, uh, particularly dried fruit, uh, is quite sweet and sometimes uh, if you eat uh, f sweet fruits you can actually uh, cause, uh, cause uh, your cravings to decrease because you're actually uh, produce providing what you actually need. Um, the worst things you can obviously eat if you have cravings for sweet foods are anything with sugar in them, anything that's processed, anything that's highly refined. You know all the bad foods that you shouldn't be eating. If you have cravings, then you should be avoiding those foods. Uh, the second thing you can try uh, is taking the mineral supplement chromium. Um, now chromium uh, is, is, is a mineral that should be in our food but quite often isn't. Many people have uh, borderline uh, chromium uh, deficiencies um, and chromium is required for insulin function and if you have low levels and low intakes of chromium uh, you may find that you're developing slowly over time insulin resistance. Uh, that is uh, exacerbated if you also have a poor quality diet and you eat a lot of sugary foods because sugary foods and carbohydrate, refined, refined carbohydrates, all the types of carbohydrates you shouldn't be eating uh, it causes large increases, uh, a large release uh, of insulin and that insulin every time it binds to the receptor causes some of your chromium to be excreted from your body. So the more carbohydrate you eat, the more chromium you eat. And if you eat a lot of refined um, carbohydrate, you need even more chromium. So chromium is worth trying because it may improve your insulin sensitivity. Um, and obviously, if you are going down that route and you feel that you do have uh, insulin resistance, then you should really be avoiding those refined carbohydrates as well because they uh, are really the cause of the insulin resistance. Um, and that means avoiding sugar uh, and anything with uh, refined crystalline fructose in it. Um, another good way to improve your insulin sensitivity is through exercise. So if you are taking, if you think you're insulin resistant and you're going to take some chromium, try and uh, cut back on your refined carbohydrates and also perform some exercise. And you, you should be able to, over time, it may take a few months, but you should be able to reverse your insulin resistance, become more insulin sensitive. Uh, this will give your body more control over your blood sugar levels. This will give your uh, body more control over maintaining your glycogen levels. Uh, and this should uh, decrease these cravings for these sweet carbohydrate foods. Um, 
Now the last thing you could try uh, if you do have these cravings, um, and there is very little uh, nutritional actual research that's been done on this, but anecdotally many nutritionists claim that this is very effective, uh, and that is to take uh, the amino acid L-glutamine orally. Um, L-glutamine uh, is an amino acid that you can find in powdered form in health food shops. Uh, it's not particularly expensive, you can buy it over the internet. Uh, it's very safe, most of the L-glutamine uh, glutamine that you ingest uh, is used by enterocytes in your gut as a source of fuel but it does get into the plasma it raises plasma levels of glutamine um, now that glutamine uh, it, it, when it's in uh, the plasma seems to have uh, an effect of reducing uh, the cravings and, and it's not really understood why uh, there's a couple of explanations firstly glutamine is very good at helping the body resynthesize glycogen um, and the reason for this is that it stimulates the enzyme glycogen synthase uh, which is the main uh, enzyme responsible for synthesizing glycogen in skeletal muscle uh, and in the liver and also because uh, when glutamine is deaminated, when it has the amino groups removed from it, uh, the, the alpha keto acid, uh, the carbon skeleton can then feed into the gluconeogenesis pathway and that forms new glucose which can then be synthesized into glycogen. Now if the glutamine uh, uh, passes up uh, uh, gluconeogenesis uh, pathway in the liver, that glucose can also pass into the blood. Uh, the liver has the ability to create new glucose and then use that glucose to raise blood sugar levels. And those are two of the possible ways uh, that glutamine is actually uh, beneficial at preventing uh, sugar cravings because it may help with this re resynthesis of glycogen and it may also help maintain uh, proper blood sugar levels. Um, now, on top of that, glutamine may also have uh, special properties in the brain as a neurotransmitter. Uh, it certainly passes into the brain and the brain cells can use it as a source of energy. Um, it can be deaminated and when it's deaminated uh, it can form glutamate and glutamate uh, is an excitatory uh, neurotransmitter in the brain. So it may be that glutamine also has some kind of uh, effect in the brain at curbing uh, your appetite for sweet carbohydrates. But it does appear to be effective. Many people have told me that uh, glutamine has worked and has decreased uh, their cravings for these sweet foods so it's certainly worth trying because it's so safe and it is very cheap um, you probably want uh, between about two to five grams of glutamine uh, how you would take it uh, again because it's very anecdotal uh, I would experiment with different ways you could take a single uh, dose of glutamine when you felt you had a craving perhaps you could put the glutamine in a bottle of water and sip it throughout the day uh, you really need to find what works for you uh, I would suggest that possibly you take the glutamine when you feel the cravings coming when you think you're going to possibly have these cravings take two to five grams of glutamine uh, in a glass of water uh, and try and uh, see if that uh, benefits you uh, in terms of decreasing uh, your intake of these sweets and these sweet foods that you're you, you're you're obviously overeating um so there are three things to try firstly uh, if you do have cravings make sure that if you uh, satisfy those cravings with sweet foods you try and eat healthy sweet foods uh, secondly you need to get your insulin sensitivity uh, you need to increase your insulin sensitivity and uh, that means that you need to uh, have adequate intakes of chromium uh, the preferred form would be chromium picolinate between 200 and 500 micrograms a day uh, would seem about right for an adult uh, and you also need to make sure you perform exercise and you also need to eliminate any refined carbohydrates in your diet so that you can improve your insulin sensitivity and that will give you much better blood sugar control. Uh, the third thing that you can try is L-glutamine uh, between two and five grams in a glass of water when you get the cravings uh, and if you try those three things you'll probably find uh, that over time uh, you, your, your wish for eating all of these uh, low quality uh, sweet foods diminishes uh, and that will improve your diet. It will certainly uh, decrease your risk of putting weight on uh, but just remember that if you are getting cravings for sweet sweet foods after you've performed physical activity that is perfectly normal uh, you actually need those sweet foods after you've performed uh, physical activity because uh, your glycogen is depleted uh, and if that is the case the best thing to do uh, is to eat uh, foods that you think uh, will replace uh, the glycogen high carbohydrate foods but again try not to turn to things that are too unhealthy you can uh, satisfy those uh, those cravings with a, a nice uh, healthy plate of food uh, you can eat still eat whole grains uh, but if you want to eat sugars you want to eat simple sugars uh, you can make sports drinks uh, and consume those after you've performed physical activity and they'll have no real detrimental effect on your health. 
Um, and that's another little trick that you can uh, use if you do feel that you need to incorporate uh, sweet foods into your life because you can't be without them. If you time them correctly so that you can, uh, you only have those sweet foods after you perform physical activity, uh, you'll find that they don't have any detrimental effects on your health because they will be used uh, to replace the energy that you've uh, sub you've just oxidized uh, during your exercise. Uh, so there are some tips. Uh, I hope that uh, that's helpful and of the things that you can uh, try in terms of uh, decreasing these cravings uh, glutamine does appear to be uh, anecdotally uh, the most effective uh, if you try glutamine and, it's, and it works for you please leave a, a comment at the end of this video because there's uh, there's very little research uh, in terms of glutamine uh, and, and appetite and, 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 and regulation of carbohydrate appetite so it's always good to get feedback uh, it's always good to hear your particular anecdotal stories of whether it's worked for you I hope it does work. Uh, if not, then try the other things as well. Uh, but always try and eat healthy foods, even if you are uh, one of these people that requires lots of carbohydrates in your diet. And it is perfectly natural sometimes. Some people do thrive on carbohydrates. Uh, but just try make sure that if you are one of those people that you try and eat healthy foods.